Okay, so. <laughs> Chat. Hello. We are currently live on YouTube and Twitch. And this is gonna be a first for us, which is gonna be super interesting because, hello. I, I'm like a little bit nervous. I don't know, this is, I don't know if this comes with a learning curve or anything, but hello mods hello chatters hello regulars whether you're on twitch or youtube today we have a very straightforward stream where we are going to play mothers i mean xianyun story quest hello solo hello saiwari hello p more disco hello mitch play hello the goddamn moon hello asset hello omega cool and hello over on youtube mod hajime in in the sakar hello Ostun, hello Abrax, hello Luchi, hello Glitch, hi Chill, hi James, hello Alfie, hello Deke. All right, so now we have like both sides, both chats actually. Hang on, I need to like arrange my screen. This is uh, this is gonna be interesting. So, Mother Xian Yun, oh yeah, Mother Mother Xian Yun. I'm a little low. All right, let's see what we can do about that. It's probably because I'm just, um, there you go. How's, how's the volume? I was probably just mumbling to myself, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I was probably just mumbling my, to myself, to be honest. So how's my volume? Because I should be like the same volume that I usually am over on, uh, over on Twitch. So how's that? Better? All right, better. Sup, everyone. Hello, hello. We're live on both the YouTubes and the Twitches. So let's see how this goes. And if it goes well, then we'll do it a lot more. Right? Very cool. Panic Moon, thank you so much for the two months tier one. Thank you, thank you. Loud and clear. Let's go. All right. So Mother Story Quest. Now... I don't, I heard that this is like a prerequisite for the lantern, right? In chat, I don't know if I've told you this, but I have not started the lantern, right? I've been avoiding spoilers for it. I haven't started it because I've been like busy, okay? Like the last few weeks have been hectic for me and I have not sat down and had a good lantern, right? Session. And I prioritized the Pentacone quest because I could, I felt like, the Pentacone spoilers were worse, okay? The Pentacone spoilers were worse than the Lantern Rite spoilers. I just gotta say. So here we are. We're finally we're finally getting around to doing the to doing the Genshin stuff. No spoilers in chat. No spoilers in chat. I heard Lantern Rite is long. I heard Lantern Rite is long, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> that is that is a okay if Lantern Rite is long. Um, we'll just, we'll just go with it. We'll just go with it. Play as we go. Um, yes, exactly. And we have our mod here to help, mods here to help us out. You only completed the Shanyan quest two days ago. Not too long this year. Oh, interesting. So we have like, it's, it's long and then it's not that long. Very interesting. Feels shorter than last year's. Well, you know what? If it feels short... But then is long. I mean, that could be a good thing, right? So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Shenyan story <laughs> quest. I'm hoping for a lot of cameos. Hello, Yilbits. Hello. I'm hoping for a lot of cameos in the Shenyan story quest. I mean, what is a Shenyan story quest without a Ganyu cameo? Without a, without a, a Shenha cameo or even a Rex Lapis cameo? Did you know that Shenyan is cr cloud retainer? Crazy. I know. I know, right? <laughs> Hello, Whiskers. Welcome. All right. So let me just make sure I have everything proper because I had to set all of this up uh, today. <laughs> I had to set all of this up <coughs> this morning and hopefully I set it up all fine. <laughs> okay, chat. So let's... Uh, let me get around to it. <laughs> there we go. Choo 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 choo. 
Almost all the characters are having a cameo. Well, they better. Like, what are what are big Genshin events for if not numerous cameos, right? Okay, let me just pick up my stuff from here. Anyway, chat, I hope that you're doing well today. I hope that you had a nice Valentine's. Chat over on YouTube. I wasn't able to uh, see you yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday, but I hope you guys had a nice Valentine's. And if you didn't, then there's always next year. Hello, Mod Valide. Welcome, welcome. Zaya Zulu, welcome. Thank you for the three stream streak. You are so very consistent. Indeed, indeed. Play on your own pace. Thank you. Exactly. No need to rush. No need to rush. Alright. Um, commissions. We don't need those. Actually, I don't think I've unlocked it. Wait, I think I did the smart thing this time and then I haven't. Oh, yeah. Alright. Cool. Welcome, Joaquim. Accept quest. Leisurely chatter. Oh, we're going to Mount Outsong. Of course we're going to Mount Outsong. Why wouldn't we go to Mount Outsong? <laughs> don't look at don't look at my undone quests, okay? It's uh it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Nobody We've been to so many places lately. What do you say we take a day off from adventuring and just find somewhere nice to relax? Hmm. Let Paimon think. Where are some nice places we could go? Oh, why don't we pay Cloud Retainer a visit at Mount Outsong? Okay, it's Paimon. Been a while since we last saw that illuminated bird. She's always the one popping up out of nowhere and scaring us half to death. So let's surprise her this time. I, I don't know if you can surprise an Adeptus, honestly. Did everyone hear Paimon loud and clear? I just need to make sure that that sound is, is working as it should on on everyone's end. <laughs> Shan, you and Story Quest before Landon, right? Yeah, let's go. I think YouTube... I've personally set YouTube chat on um, 10 to 15 second um, slow mode. I'm not sure if there's a way that mods can do it. <laughs> There are no <laughs> undone quests in Bossing Say. True. <laughs> Xian Yun Havers, have your exploration experiences been leveling up? <laughs> Titch volume all good? Okay, very good. Although, you know, there are a lot of things about modding on YouTube Scholar, that I don't Scholar. personally know yet, so you know, you might know things that I don't. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. Miss Cloud Retainer. Oh shit, I think she's gonna fall oh, and yeah, die. Oh no. Okay, wait. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I hate it when that happens. Okay. Okay. Okay, quest starts here. Do you still remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to... Squash Liyue Harbor! Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. Wow. I like how Paimon actually remembers that. Like, I... Yeah, I didn't remember that that we much. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Mm hmm. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? I don't think we've seen her here before. Who's she? Whoa. What a pretty lady. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look, and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of Adepti friends from all over the country. Mm-hmm. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? Mutual friends. Helping you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this. 
Let's go. Paimon, introduce us, please. <laughs> Quash. Um, hello. Hmm. Hmm. Why did you say it like that, Paimon? Are you okay? Hi, the off. Welcome in. Uh, um, um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? Madam Adeptus. You two. <laughs> Cloud Retainer's like, what is she yapping about? What is this tomfoolery? Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Tomfoolery. Wait, you're... You're Cloud Retainer? Huh? You're the Illuminated Bird? But you look... human! How did that happen? I don't know, I don't know, Paimon. Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. So, uh... You're indulging now because... Because she feels like it. Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop Very up Very mother all form over the to take, though. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. <clears throat> but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. Paimon brought you some gifts. Hey, wow, way really to change the subject. She asked. Oh, so you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. <laughs> Most commendable. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud retainers. Cost, I, I was about to say, out, well, the Cloud Retainer's outfit is so, it's like Ganyu's was kind of, it was interesting and uh, a bit sus, and then, uh, and then <laughs> Shen Ha's was like, oh my, and now Cloud Retainer's is like, oh lord. <laughs> Dilry, thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, and hello, Mr. Fish Gaming. I know, she's very, uh... But an interesting outfit to go low profile in. Very mother outfit. Um, Snacks. Well, this is all Paimon's got. You don't mind, right? One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary, it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, uh, the yes. quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. Hello, chatters. Shenha boob suprem under boob supremacy. <laughs> boob under boob supremacy. Yes. <laughs> huh. That kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? Claudia Tainer says she's going to visit some of her disciples. Ah, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. <gasps> Maybe we can come too. Yay. Oh my gosh. She's so backless. One plan to extend Mother. the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Wow. Shanha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. Oh. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? No reason in particular. We were just yeah, passing through. we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. Aww. We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm. Is that so? Yeah. If there are Feel no flattered, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Oh. Ganyu is likely still working at Yuehai Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Hi, Willow. Hello, Kustein. Kustein, hello. Congrats, Lotus. <sighs> Ganyu has been quite busy. Oh, wait, what's she saying? Go on. Shanoha has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. <gasps> Shanoha's <laughs> employed? They think one was so easily mollified. One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. Shen has employed, guys. 
Amazing. I won't really be answering um, meta-related questions right now because I'm trying to... I need to finish this Shanyan story quest so I can actually play Lantern, right? <laughs> <laughs> Raz don't exist in Teyvat. Well, yes, many characters will agree. Working for the lethal company. That's Shenha. Imagine if Shenha is just like an assassin. Fitting though. We're almost at Wei High Pavilion. Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? Guess nah. Yeah, no Shenha and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, wait, where did she go? She's back there. Why are you just standing there, Cloud Retainer? Uh, because she can? Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hmm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. Aww. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. Aww, that's so considerate. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. No promises. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Cloud retainer? Oh, too late. <laughs> oh my god, she just hid. She's like, I'm not here. Oh. Nobody look at me. Busted. Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right away. Thank you, Huixin. Damn. Cloud Retainer knows her kids too well. It's been a while, Ganyu. But also, I miss Ganyu so much. Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. Dude, Cloud Retainer's still back-facing. Why? Cloud Retainer, look here. You are quite mistaken. Oh my god. One is not acquainted with this Cloud Retainer oh my god. you speak. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. <laughs> huh? <gasps> God, he's like, what? what? <laughs> Seems she's not buying it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was but a simple test. One did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. God, he looks totally bewildered. <laughs> Hello, Private Kowalski. But recognizing Shen you is, Yun, why? Um, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Paima wasn't aware of any important... Oh. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, Paimon. <laughs> Cloud Retainer's right. We've still got something super important to do so we can't stay here for too long today oh is that so but it's been so long since we last saw each other uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work a quick conversation should suffice for today a more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied i understand that should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Dude, Ganyu's like tired 24-7, and I'm sure Cloud Retainer knows this. This is just literally a mother talking to her child. <sighs> Very cute. It still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now. Respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. <laughs> so cute! C Cloud Retainer! 
Stop! Oh, that's so... Oh, she's blushing. That's so cute, baby. Good, you. Hmm. If you insist. We are running short on time regardless. I so want to cuddle will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. Okay. Wow. You've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. Same. <laughs> if you ever need anything, please just come find me at UI High Pavilion. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? True. Hi, Chris Man of Steel. A human name? Huh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown, Truly. Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. Truly. I wonder what her human name is gonna be, guys. I don't... I don't know. I... I have no idea. You really think so? I... Not that you're not famous or anything, but... That famous? <laughs> <laughs> you presume to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Mm. Yes. I could never have guessed that. <laughs> Shenyun? Ah, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. Mm -hmm. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, wow. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Wow, so poetic. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Huh? Wait, so you're really that powerful? <laughs> Do we get to see Cloud Retainer go full Adeptus War mode? And what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not exactly. That's totally what Paimon had in to mind. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through Whoa. the land. If not for Cloud Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. So did she use the power of animal or invent a machine to fix the nauseous gas? Welcome, Pauline and Mr. Chewy. Hello. The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Oh, that's Immediately, called Cloud Retainer. the clouds gathered together and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. Oh my god, so she's... Wow, I never, I never knew that that is why she's called Cloud Retainer. Like, that actually explains so much. Wow, that's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? <sighs> Paimon's just flying smaller than average size. Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. You're not too mad, are you? <laughs> Bird. How laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> That's a relief. In that case, Paimon will continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment. 
<laughs> so Paimon's just gonna be switching from Cloud Retainer to Shenyun, whatever she feels like it. Hi, Mod Pokemonster. Well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? One has heard that she procured a job recently. Procured a job. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? No, why is she asking her, her monthly salary? Wait, that's such, an, that's such a mom thing to do, an Asian mom thing to do, wait. Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? That is a lot of questions. Oh my gosh. There is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. Wanmin Restaurant's business has been booming recently. So, with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shangling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenhe to staff the restaurant. Wait, no way. <laughs> Wait, no way. Oh my goodness. I love that. She's serving at Chef Mao's. Okay. I see. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Xiangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. <sighs> <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit Wanmin Restaurant in person and see how Shenha is doing. Vit vittles? Vittles? I've never heard that word before. Huh? But... Didn't you just say that you had something important to do? Uh... Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? <gasps> Paimon hungry. You may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon? I'll see you some other time. Oh yeah, Shangling is an adept. This is the cycle. Food number one. Paimon was pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? As soon as you mentioned important business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? No, in no. fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Wait, for real? For, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to I'm you so sorry. Time. I'm so sorry. Huh. It targeted she the cat. She really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? All right, chat, welcome in, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. Does it support me more to watch via Twitch or YouTube? Honestly, I'm good either way. Either way, it's totally... Whichever you're more comfortable with. Like, that's the more important thing for me. <clears throat> um, as for, yeah, method-related questions, I won't be going into those right now because we are focusing on the story quest, trying to see what Xian Yun's story quest is all about. I've been bonked over on Twitch. But thank you, mods, for uh, for keeping chat and answering, keeping chat together and answering immediate questions. Peace prevails. And yeah, you can always like check out my guides. Um, they can probably give you more comprehensive answers than I would be able to give in like ten seconds in the middle of the quest. So. Uh, for now, if you need some help, go ahead and check out my guides on the chosen character. You get what I'm saying, right? Wait. Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, huh? Eh? Not, not the one in customers checking out the staff. No. Oh. I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? Oh my god. You do it! Oh my god. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. What can I get for you today? Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh. What would you like to order? <laughs> Wait, that was... <laughs> It's like threatening. What would you like to order? 
<laughs> oh my god, I love it. Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Oh, good chat. Bye. <laughs> That's so effective, though. It should have been me. <laughs> I love that. That was so effective. Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? Don't welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is? Oh, you haven't? What? Uh, this is Miss Shinyun. Master? <laughs> okay, okay. They know each other. Huh? I thought she wouldn't know. Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? I've trained and lived with Master for more than ten years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <gasps> you. Oh my god, she's so adorable. I love that. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. Dude, Shin has hips. I'm staring at my camera is blocking them, but I'm staring respectfully. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Are you here for Shinha? Yes, boss. The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shinha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead, sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Woohoo! Actually adorable. I love this. This is such a fun dynamic. Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me, get out! Get out! Oh my god, you're blocking the way! Aw, <sighs> It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. Yes. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenho? Yeah, I never thought that Shenho would go into cust it would go into customer service of all things. Like dealing with customers and all that, oh dear. <laughs> it's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Oh, how? Seems like you've been making progress. So by dealing with them, you mean... First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. At this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. I love that. Just, just, just threaten them with violence, chat. It works. Oh, I... Uh... How should Paimon put this? After, after civil conversation. Oh, a sensible plan. One is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. And you, Master? How have you been? Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. Wow. I see. Huh. Just as expected of Master. Hmm. Hmm. She actually misses the two of you a lot. Aww. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit <gasps> Master. Okay, well look at voice lines at the end of this. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. Whoa. Her mood shot up just like that. Wow, it's so cute how Traveler and Paimon can read Cloud Retainer's mood so well, actually. By the way, like despite not being Master, disciples. Since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Oh yeah. <laughs> Indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Hmm? Oh? Oh? Same. Oh? Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. 
No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter, please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Mm -hmm. Master once participated in a race against Mooncarver. Mm -hmm. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural <gasps> edge in Whoa. such a contest. Okay, that's that's a pretty cute story. In response, Master agreed to forego oh. flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. Yeah, the Adepti having silly races and contests like these. Huh, what kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? Oh, an electro-powered bicycle? An e-bike? <laughs> oh my gosh, Chad, there's so many e-bikes on the road these days. Here in the Philippines. Hi, Wavy Sammy. You feel like if Shenha accidentally called her mom instead of Master, she would start aggressively sobbing. So true. Hello, Blue Sand. Hi, Dram Pepper. Oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flash mobile. Oh my god. I spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Bicyclical Thunder Flash Mobile. I didn't realize Shen Yin was so dramatic with her device names. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One was thwarted mere seconds from victory when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. No. Anyway, do go on, Shenha. Master, that was the <laughs> end of that story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? <gasps> Wait, are we gonna do another race here? Have you been lonely, Master? Aww. Lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Aww. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. <laughs> She's lonely, guys. Uh-huh. We need to visit her more often. <laughs> what is the reason for that look upon your face? It's nothing. It's just... <laughs> well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. <laughs> Damn, Paimon. What, an, what a funny way to say you suddenly became less mighty just because of what you said. Hi, Tala. I was just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real Cloud Retainer? Paimon, Cloud Retainer can be a complex person. To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and Aww. adore. Huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. <laughs> You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refused to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. One would almost question the sincerity of your estimations. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action Eschew. and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Ugh. Others may critique or praise as they see fit, yet one places little weight in such judgment. <laughs> Damn, she yapped. <laughs> she got like, what, two sentences of flattery from her disciple, and it's as if her ego is about to burst. Do you have any empty tables? Uh. A shoe? Hey there. Could we get I another I need to look here? it up again. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. No problem, Maud Valine. All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, Shen, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll try my best. 
Shenha's outfit. Sometimes I forget how interesting it is. Oh my gosh! Diamond's gonna feast. Can you eat this kind of food? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left mm. one more than satisfied. Mm. In fact, Interesting, yeah, one guys. has been struck by <laughs> quite a fit of inspiration. Mm. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. Damn, Everything's I want so one. Tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs what happened can't to go on for much longer. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, I I'll ask around. Hello, come sit with us. We have open t chairs. Excuse me. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Ah, well, Paimon doesn't mind. What about you guys? I don't mind either. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Granny? Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no. Paimon's just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Oh, so it's not just me. Okay. Yeah, she's not like the usual NPC granny whose like back is a bit bent. Yeah, exactly. She does have like a young lady body type. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment granny on her youthful looks. What is but going she's on here? Much older than she appears. <sighs> Wait, do they know each other? Wait, what? Wait, huh? Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Huh. Have we met before? No. Hmm? Tis a faded meeting, then. Please, take a seat. Hmm? Hmm? What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want... braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. Wait, what? Wait. Do they serve that here? Hang on. <laughs> I feel like Shangling needs to uh, expand their menu. No, no, not this again. Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Can't hurt to ask. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking too. I... need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory is getting worse all the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Shuyu. Actually, her memory has been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. No. They died young. It's just me and Granny now. Dude, it's so difficult, like... When you have a parent who is, um, who's, who's mental wellness and health, just like overall health is, is not as, is not great. Oh, um, uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot and I love her a lot too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Wow, you're really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> you're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? You're tough too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle. And you're always there for me. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Um... Uh, wait, what was that really important thing again? Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Dude, that's such an ominous dream. Holy crap. Huh? 
That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. <laughs> Hello, Dushi. Ah, uh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. But just how many times have I had it? Now that I do not remember. Okay, so this story quest is going to be about you, Xian Yun and Yuan Dai, I'm guessing. Cognitive decline is so depressing to watch in the family. It is. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? <laughs> Paimon, where did that... Huh? Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. Are you sure? Mm, yeah, Paimon. Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? Is, hmm. <laughs> Am I not an expert? Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. The expert, yeah. In that case, do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now, my younger self. Okay, this is getting more and more uh, ominous. <laughs> A younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave the situation to me. Are you sure? Um, so what are your names? Paimon's Paimon. Just Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, but, Miss Shen Yun, what exactly can we do to help out this granny? All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? That is elementary. Elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Oh. But how do we know those places if she forgets them? Hmm. Sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above. The earth below, Dude. <laughs> the wispy clouds, and the emerald mountain stream. Is she isn't it? Is she an adeptus? Hang on, chat. I need to make uh, the room warmer. Is she an a an adeptus? Okay, taking that as a no. I might have an idea. Once, when I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. What? If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shincho knows tons about Liwei's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him! Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild! Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while you and I and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward mm. Rambler. Shen Yun's gonna be like, is there an Adeptus here who was lost before? And who was also a bird who liked earthworms? Street word rambler? Oh, you mean Madame Ping! Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Oh ho! Everyone, please, eat to your heart's content. Yeah! Got him! Okay, Feiyun Commerce Girl, 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 girl. <laughs> Feiyun Commerce Girl, Feiyun Commerce Guild. Sing Cho. Yeah, got 
tell us where to start. What is this granny hiding? What is she hiding? What is her past? Who is she? I need to know. You and I? Sounds like you and I. <laughs> huh. It's you two. What brings you here? Wow, I haven't I remember we haven't seen him in a long time. Hmm. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Oh. Hello to you in Japan. Does Ping have an animal form? I'm not sure if it's been shown actually. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Hmm. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well-matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. Huh? Who is this? After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. Whoa! I hope that's somewhat helpful. That, okay, honestly, if this were just like a person I met out of the blue, it would be such a reach for me to think that, oh yeah, she's actually this nameless heroine, or that's, uh, that's her, they have the same story. Wow, oh my gosh. Welcome, chatters on YouTube, hello. Thanks a lot, Xingqiu. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Xingqiu, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three oh. places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yun Karst mm. and Ching Yun Peak. Okay. Perhaps the real we life know those heroine places. who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. Mm. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. Hmm. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. <gasps> no. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide oh, from something. Oh, what is this mystery? There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. There's a nameless in the air. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. That's a deal. Perhaps, behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Mm. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shinto. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh... Wait, why does the story sound super familiar? I don't know, Paimon. Oh, right! There's a drought in this story, too! Um, Xingqiu, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. I wonder what Zhongli would do during those droughts, or if he would just leave it to the Adepti to take care of it. 
Welcome, new chatters. Hello, hello. I have not gotten Singcho skin yet. I haven't started Lantern Right stuff. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural Man. disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. That sounds awful! Yeah. And that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Man. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Zhang Li had his work cut out for him. It's a good thing he has his own band of Adepti. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Yun and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuan Dai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you some other time, Xingqiu. Thank you so much for your help. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Oh no, casual potato. Better luck next time. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, got him. Skyward. Yeah, it's so fun using Shen Yun's, uh, using Shen Yun's skill out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, so Granny and I seems to be a hero from the past, from history. Now we just need to find out which hero or who she is. I have recorded the tune that you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. <gasps> is that a spin crystal? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Straight word for ping. What has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. You <laughs> made a mixtape for her. <laughs> time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh. Why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. She she looks concerned. Uh, approximately how much more I would one need <gasps> to afford a comfortable life in the harbor. Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Aww. Oh, Shenyun wants to live at the harbor. Oh my god, dude, she's so lonely up there. Oh, all right, all right. She wants to buy a home. Wait, I did not expect that. That is so cute, but also so relatable. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... Cloud Retainer, Madam Ping! Uh, what are you two talking about? <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Shinjo has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss Yundai have joined up with us again. <laughs> oh, Clatter Tater! <laughs> Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Uh, thank you so much. What do you think, Chu Yu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? <sighs> According to the story, the nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhung. Maybe... That's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him. But there is this one time, I found a box in her attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Whoa, okay. I think so too. Granny might remember something once she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains, thoroughly one with nature, and at peace. <gasps> I see the lanterns in the background. Is that so? 
Then please, drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Go, girl. Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um... I have a secret I want to tell you. A secret? You. Okay. Well, let's go talk over there. I wonder if it's about Granny or if it's about her. <laughs> Alright. I see the lanterns, chat. <laughs> so pretty. What's wrong, Shuyu? Well... I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. But... Are you guys all... <laughs> Adepti in disguise? <laughs> wow, she's so perceptive, though. Okay, no, just one of us. Oh! Uh, about that. Mm, well, you guys just seem super special. Plus, <laughs> I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. Dude, Cloud Retainer's not subtle. Oh, must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh... Misspoke. Maybe you can explain to Shuyu here what you really meant by that. <sighs> One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? She's so mother when she crosses her arms. Huh? huh? I knew it. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then, this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool Adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. Ooh. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. That's so cute, Cloud Retainer. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe... Any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? Wait, this is such a nice scene. Look, the, the sky is like dawn-ish and the lanterns are flying and the, the music is so nice. Oh my god, it's so nice. A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Cloud Retainer? Oh, wait, that's not Cloud Retainer? Oh, she said pure white? Oh! Hmm. Never has one met an Adeptus with such features. Oh. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Cloud Retainer is white and blue? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one! Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first! Okay, I'll go get Granny. Granny, are you ready to travel? Cloud so Cloud Retainer is white and blue, not pure white, so... The pure white one must have just been <laughs> Granny you and I herself. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> Not I. Alright, why don't you in? Welcome, chatters. We are doing uh, the Cloud Retainer story quest. The Xianyin story quest. Let's try to keep on topic for right now. Wang Shu In. Wang Shu In. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. That is a very specific thing to say. <laughs> I believe... I used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? Uh, let me look. I'll come with. 
What a very interesting thing to say. Climate's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about. Yeah. But if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait. Huh? No! <laughs> what are you doing? You're all you scared the living yeah, okay. Wang Shu in equals Shao cameo, yeah. I sensed a non human presence and decided to come take a look. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. Indeed. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. I have indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Cloud Retainer fought in her human form? Oh, wow! What was she like during the war? Oh, wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Behold, the glory of one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. <gasps> bang Time's Bang Continuous Fire. Or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. Hey, yo. An impressive imitation. Oh my god, Shao liked it. Shao said clap. <laughs> Paimon knows her all too well. Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn. Oh. Only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. Oh, so, uh... A Cloud Retainer who barely She's passed. softened up now. I like, can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? Damn. When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago hmm. when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... Uh. And one believes there is little need to relive uh. bygone matters. 30 years ago? 30 years ago, okay. Granny, are you okay? Uh, back then, at this place, I... Huh? Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. Of course. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Oh, he yeeted. Everyone, I, I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Okay, let's hear Slowly it. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I... Stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Mm -hmm. Huh. So what Shinto said was true. You did fall ill. Was that why you went into hiding? I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but but I can't even remember the name of my illness. Oh. The Elazar. only thing no, I kidding. can remember is that it took a great toll on me. And there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. Aww. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. <laughs> Maybe she felt like she was left behind by the migrating birds. He used to start eating almonds and milk. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. Okay. He told me that the pills were concocted using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. Huh? My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. Concocted using Adepti blood? Is that legal? Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what
what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. <sighs> oh, if only I wasn't so useless. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all. Damn. Let us make haste to the next location. What is going on with this granny? Such peculiar, interesting things. Next location. Next location. Oh, why don't we go to the area north of Dweyunkars next? Yeah, sure. There isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, Paimon's got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. Wait, which After houses? All, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's <laughs> really got her thinking cap on today. At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendy's memories in no time. I love Paimon <laughs> commending herself. Oh, these houses? Wait, these, ho we're, these houses might actually have some lore in them? Dude, I would always pass by those houses. Like, we pass by those houses so often when we're, like, doing artifact routes or something. No, I don't want to do the, uh, friendship quest, pop-up quest thing. Why are there... What? Yo, go away. Got her. Skyward. Great cloud converge. Do you remember anything about this place, Granny Wendy? Let me think. I feel like I've been here before, but I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. Wait a second. If I remember correctly, I believe I brought... Snacks? Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. Oh? Go on, take some. Oh. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. She meant back then. I thought she meant... Oh, I mean, she meant you. now. I thought she then meant Pima back then. Alright then. Were those owned by Shinha's village before? Were they? I thought Shinha's village was um somewhere else on the map. Where's the house here? Okay, the house here is down here. Paimon sees an abandoned house! Why don't we take a break over there? Wait a second. Chat, I just need to check outside if my other rabbit is like in his uh, pen. Give me a second. I'm getting a little sus. I keep hearing noises. Okay, rabbit is, rabbit has been checked and rabbit is good. This place, it's... Does it look familiar? Did you remember something, Granny? 
Did you, Granny? I... I remember. Show you. This is where your father was born. Damn! It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. Oh. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. Oh my gosh! What? Huh? The source of this sin? What is she talking about? Sin? Oath? Oath? Did you do something wrong? What is going on? I don't know. I'm so I don't huh? remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. Aww. That baby was your father. I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? No, she is dead. He Dude, was this my is pride so and sad. Joy. And so are you, Shuyu. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're always going to be different from me. What is I... going? Oh no! Why? Just. What did I do? Bro. I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. I really hope the lightning doesn't hit me. <laughs> All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left. Yes? Let's go take a look. Oh, if dear. one recalls correctly, the next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I, how fair is your health? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on. I shall carry you to the top. <gasps> oh, such lightness of weight. All those who grow old grow frail in the end. Damn. Do they not? First, you lose your memory. Uh -huh. Then, your health. Oh my god. Eventually, you end up losing everything. Girl. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind. To free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not. You have my aid in this endeavor. This grandma is so sad, man. Go away. Yeah, got her. Skyward. Her dialogue is so sad. It was a different vibe. Is <laughs> was it just like a sadder vibe, but like melancholy, not sad, like scary vibe. I want to be carried too, mom. Yeah. I would love to be carried by Shan Yun, honestly. Whew. We're finally here. Cloud Retainer's a girl's girl? Yeah, Cloud Retainer's a girl's girl. Does this place feel familiar She's a to you? Girl's mom. <laughs> Let me see. Welcome, newcomers. Hello. How strange. Have I lived here before take your time when we were at wangshu inn and the abandoned house earlier though i couldn't remember everything i still felt a sense of familiarity i could easily picture myself in those places mm -hmm. 
but here... I don't have that feeling. Perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. Give more distance travel. Alright, I'll try that. But did the stories get it wrong then? Hmm. Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's alright. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Oh, we know that mountain. <laughs> oh, let Paimon look. Huh? Isn't that Mount Outsong? Looks like we've come full circle. Yeah. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Is she from Mount Outsong? Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I... What am I really? Defender, thank you so much for joining the Academia for the YouTube membership. Welcome, new member. Enjoy your emotes. Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? Huh? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I, just... What is wrong with me? Cloud... Miss Yanyun? Is there anything you can do? What is... Oh my Let gosh. us go to Mount Outsong. But... Oh no. No, don't Red worry, Shuyu. you. all will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. Mm. Wait, really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. Oh. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Wow. All will reveal itself. So Shan Yun is just going to do a... Just going to do a full reveal exposition. Yeah, commission's done. Skyward. <laughs> no, I missed it. Okay. You know, I see that it does make... Uh, more travel distance but i just love the feeling of of ascending with her skill it just hits different but i see i understand i understand what you mean like for horizontal exploration yeah Point. 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 Got her. oh <laughs> come on just tell paimon already what's this thing you've prepared here this is it you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent it's so pretty, one, though. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. Okay. Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. So basically, it's a pot. It's pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cool gadget! But if you had it all along, why did you keep it to yourself until just <laughs> Save time on a lot of floating, girl. What does it take you to float? How preposterous. Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. Mm -hmm. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Hi, my Thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, mm. 
A gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean! Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. Such a nice melody, though. And you, you and I. Is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> oh, she's gonna be asleep soon. <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. All right, chat. Time for the big reveal. The what drought will we... is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? Wait, what? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past, the me from not that long ago, we should have never. So, uh, so did she separate herself from... Uh, uh, uh-huh. So that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I... Granny! Granny, are you okay? Cloud Retainer. Uh-huh. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Mm-hmm. Yes. I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Dude, this kid is so goaded. Like, she's actually so nice. What a, what a good kid. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. Oh, Shenyun knows! So Shenyun, like, probably clocked it from the beginning as soon as she met her, didn't she? No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered... I must face my memories head on. Shu Yu, everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What no, Shu Yu, we want to hear it. <laughs> I love you more than anything. We want to hear Nothing it. Nothing you say can change that. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Hmm? Is this the sin that you mentioned in Dwayun Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. 
<laughs> this crane is a paid actor. <laughs> I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. A secret of cultivation? Okay. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. Mm -hmm. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, 50 years ago. Okay. 50 years ago? She committed a sin during the drought that, stuck, that struck Liu. That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. Mm -hmm. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at oh. the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane. Oh, I see. And become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Wait, so if she's neither human nor beast nor adeptus, what is she now? She's just like something in between? Oh no. So that was ah. the source of your dementia all along. Was it because of Grandpa? Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Oh, what? Okay. Although clumsy and impulsive Aww, that's as so he cute, was, though. you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. Aww. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet, I did not want to leave his side, so I... I... Oh no! What happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. <gasps> I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world, such that no one would be able to find me again. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. Mm -hmm. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. 
It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. Listen, those soul revitalizing tea pills are so sus. Actually, so sus. So, like, I don't know, man. Okay, hang on, Cloud Retainer. My bunny's doing some eating some cardboard. Luna, please don't eat cardboard. It's very loud and distracting. Mm. I will feed you treats instead. Okay. <gasps> mhm. Mm Granny, what's wrong? Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, cloud retainer. Wait, I get it now. I get it now. Cloud retainer. Must have, like, done that whole tea pill thing herself so that she could save her because she felt bad about it. I get it. Cloud Retainer set this up. This wasn't the, this wasn't the guy who was doing, like, illegal stuff. This was Cloud Retainer going out of her way to seem like a shady person to save her. Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? No, it couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. <laughs> Back then, that merchant was actually. Yeah, <sighs> Cloud Retainer's like, yeah, it was me. Now that's a wabbit under the shelf. That's Luna. Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Oh? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. Wait, wait, that's actually so sweet though. I mean, that's like a sweeter thing than I expected her to reply. Oh no. So when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. Aww. You knew where I was all along. Yeah, it was basically Cloud Retainer's blood, or at least her power. I don't know if she was like being precise, accurate, or truthful about it being directly her blood, but yeah, it was One a wedding gift. One still remembers gift. when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own, no matter what form they may take. <gasps> oh, no! She's like one of her earlier kids, her first child. Maybe oh, wait, not wait, wait. first, but I'm like confused. child. So, Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. Say more. Oh, this is an interesting way of exploring this. You didn't have to, like, walk to a domain or something. Oh. Oh, but also, it's so pretty here. In <laughs> truth, one had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. <laughs> one could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. <laughs> it's like when she's like, he's not good enough for my child. <laughs> But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. 
glaring though they may have been, wishing to grant you a life without regrets. One gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Oh, it is her own blood. Oh, and perfect. It managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. Wow. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. Mm. One took great care to alter <laughs> one's features and select the appropriate attire. <laughs> Only after meticulous Wait. scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu In. Wait, the mustache though. I can't. The, the, the mustache and goatee. That's so funny. I can't. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, Aww. or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? <laughs> Man. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another matter, if you are amenable. Even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the okay. consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Yeah. yeah. Got him. Skyward. <laughs> Got him. Oh, okay. Skyward. She's uh. Wait, is she see? Yeah, she. Okay, she's C three here. Alrighty. Yeah. Got him. the sky. Let's make her C6, man. Let me try uh, lunge spam Shen Yun. That would be fun. <sighs> Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Whoa, look at this. It's like, shh, just like cracked, like the spider, like the spider cracking shatter marks. That's so cool though. That looks so cool. Sad godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Juan was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. Oh. In the end, Juan was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, Juan heard an infant's cry pierce through the air, and Juan saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. Man! What a mom! Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. Uh-huh. That was actually Cloud Retainer? Question mark. Did she just change her form so that she was a pure white crane?
just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Oh, she's been watching over her entire family for this long? No way. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. Aww. When one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. <laughs> one had no choice but to apply powder to one's body to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. That's so cute! Wait... It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Man! <laughs> I love this so much! Now, so all actual has been heartwarming! <laughs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, one wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> have you any further inquiries? Mother... Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice. Yeah. Nothing more. Yeah. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary, and the night grows dark. Just know that you always have a place to which to return. Man. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish, yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. <sighs> God, I'm so emotional. You and I. One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, 
You were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? She's gonna try her best. One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, what's gonna happen to Shuyu? Oh, Sh maybe Shuyu will become a disciple of Cloud Retainer now. Shuyu, wait. You'll be okay, little girl. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? No. Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> mm -hmm. Not long. The transformation is imminent. Oh, shit. And Granny? Please don't leave, okay? No! You're all I have left. Please. No! Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Mm. Don't forget to eat well, okay? Mm. A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Girl, don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. You and I. How's that sound? You and I. Yeah, you and I. Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. Uh, I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Oh my god. Thank you. For everything. Lumine felt it too, yeah. Oh my. Oh my god, goodbye, Granny! Come back soon! Oh my god! Dude, this girl is never gonna recover from seeing her Granny turn into a crane. Shoo you. Let her be. At her age. Crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Aw, oh, thanks, Cloud Retainer.
again that our days of separation would finally end and all my troubles would be behind me. Shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't ready to wake up. as one may be. Words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. That's all. Madam Adeptus? Oh, sure you, you're awake. How do you feel? I... I feel... a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday, so I don't feel so sad anymore. Shenyun, it's time to take another disciple. <laughs> Madam Adeptus? Could I, uh, ask you something? Would you take me in as a disciple? Yeah. Oh. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. But without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So I thought maybe one day... I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you undies blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. <gasps> Thank you so much, oh my Madam god, adeptus. new child. No, uh, I mean, master. I... Chuyu, are you sure about this? Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they <laughs> pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's a legitimate concern, though. <laughs> if you join them, you'll never enjoy One Min Restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. <laughs> <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, 
one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? <laughs> Honestly, I, I won't fault Paimon for that. She's concerned about uh, her diet, well-being, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue <gasps> Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Hey yo! Oh my god, lucky for Shu Yu, man. Shinha and Ganyu are gonna look and be like, We didn't have this when we were kids. <laughs> oh, you're leaving now outside? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Mm. Ganyu, Shenhe, Yuandai. Mm. They all chose a life among the mortal world. Mm. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. You think Granny would be jealous because Cloud Retainer took Shuyu as disciple, but not her? <laughs> I mean, technically she almost would have been. I don't think she'd be jealous. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Mm, true, true, true. Why are you all so silent? Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So... Does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? Yeah. Hm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. Hm. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. You got it, boss. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. Mm. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. <gasps> what is she gonna sell? Her machinations? I wonder if people will actually know the value of those. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chuhu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? <laughs> That's the truest thing she said this entire time. What is mortal life if not one expense after another? <laughs> Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, she's so mother when she said that. Look at her. She's like, oh my god, I love her. She looks so good. Oh, also... Why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting okay. your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its oh. melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! Thanks, hey, Chrono, for the hype. Did we tell Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? <gasps> should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. Free gift! So, about your move to Liyue Harbor, you gonna tell the other Adepti about it? I have left an explanatory note in my abode. Those two old fossils will discover it, I am sure, should they come seeking my company. Considering their recent pension for going off on private escapades, however, I find myself caring little for how they shall receive this news. Hm. Interesting thing to comment on, Xian Yun. Private escapades. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Shuyu, we have a friend who helped us learn a lot of information about your granny. Is it okay if we tell him the full story? Sure. I don't think granny would mind. As long as you don't tell a whole bunch of people. 
I don't think she'd want too many people to know. They might go to Mount Outsong and start bugging her about it. Granny needs to focus on her training, you know? But telling a friend or two is probably fine. No worries, our friend can keep a secret. Thanks, Shuyu. Every time she says old fossils, shaping this card. <laughs> Uh, is Sing Chat the uh, Fei and Commerce, co Commerce Guild? He should be. Yeah. Um, cha -chum, cha -chum. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Got him. <laughs> Boys' night out. <laughs> we meet again, dear friends. How did everything go? Great! And it's all thanks to you! Tell the one friend who can make a book and spread the story worldwide. So true. Oh, hi, buddy! Do you want to listen in on our conversation? <laughs> hi! <laughs> ah, I see. So the stories didn't get it right after all. Even though she was a celebrated heroine, she had to bear a heavy burden that most could not hope to understand. Thank goodness for the help of that Adeptus. At least she was able to recover what she had lost. Mm. Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the end. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry. I'll keep this all to myself. Oh yeah, please don't it's write a book about it. It's not my story to tell, after all. <laughs> oh, hello, he's back. Oh, what? You left? Okay. Interesting. All right. Welcome, Kamisato Pai. Hello, newcomers. We are nearing the end of this quest, but if you just popped in, hello. Um, I hope. Uh... Well, you can uh, watch it back over on YouTube. Over on YouTube stream. You can't do that on Twitch stream, unfortunately. So if you just popped in and you want to watch it from the start, you can check it out on YouTube. I mean, you can watch the Twitch VOD after I finish streaming, but if you just popped in in the middle of the stream, I am still live. You can watch it back on YouTube. I want to talk to Cloud Retainer. I want to see her house. Yeah. Yeah. The Adventurer's Guild. You'll have a blast. You'll have a blast. Skyward, got her. Yeah. God, her plunge is so cool. She goes crane mode. She's so cool. The Jade Chamber is her house. <laughs> Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. <laughs> In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. Mm. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never... Be too careful. It's true. We're here, Cloud. Uh, Miss Shenyan, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Several hundred years? Hey, yo. It Indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep, they've definitely been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. Hear that? 
Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Damn. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. Cloud Retainer's gonna learn how insufferable it is to deal with people on a daily basis. <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 please don't go! I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert oh. to appraise them for me. He should be here shortly. Hi, Darth Alex. An expert, you say? Oh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon. John Lee is this good. Is my new residence. Lee? If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. Okay. Master. Oh, it's you two again. <gasps> she has a different Hello. dress now. Oh my god, it's cloud retainer colored. <laughs> Shoo you. It's Shen Yun colored. It. it looks great on you. Mm-hmm. Master made it for me. <gasps> I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Fret not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything is kind of messy right now, so maybe <laughs> you can not look yet, Master. Yeah, that'd be great. Mm. <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Such a good mother. I now, love her. this expert you mentioned. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Ah, there he is. Here, allow me to make <laughs> some introductions. This is Mr. Zhang Li, a well-respected consultant at Wangshong Funeral Parlor Who and else an could expert it be? in all manner of valuables and antiques. Of course. Father and mother. <laughs> but like separately. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh. 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 Huh. <laughs> Wait, this is a, such a great introduction. Ah, ah, if it isn't Miss Shenyun. It has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. <laughs> In, indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Huh. Uh, uh. So you two are already acquainted? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. Mm. She is well-versed in all fields, and oft celebrated for her impeccable taste. <laughs> you stand to gain much from this opportunity. Yeah, I know, they could actually just be scamming Shao Su. <laughs> <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. <laughs> I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. I'm on a smirking and Lumi is just like... Mm. <laughs> Why, you flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem that you are as self-effacing as ever. Self-effacing. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Shangli. Not at all. Um... Um, <laughs> Shao's just like, I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like something's going on. <laughs> While I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must ask, you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial <laughs> relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? <laughs> I mean, you never know. <laughs> He's so real for that, though. Thank, thank, 
I am so thankful this guy has like a head on his shoulders, unlike someone like Kave who would never suspect that. Kave would just be like, yeah, this isn't sus at all. Ha! Huh. A preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire <laughs> to do such a thing. <laughs> Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken <laughs> elsewhere. What is this Kave slander? No, 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 no. This is, that's this, that is full Kave slander, full offense meant. <laughs> Say no more. Let us depart. Uh, I jest, I, I jest. jest. I jest. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. <laughs> <clears throat> I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? Oh, yes. Hello, Modsby. There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. Mm -hmm. The same can be said for this one here. Few could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I bet Shaz is like, what is he yapping about? <laughs> I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. <laughs> that is what a scammer would say. <laughs> All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Fiduciary. Oh, very well. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. <laughs> fiduciary. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. Alrighty. Thanks for popping <sighs> by, sir. Snore, snore, what? Zhongli! Hi, Zhongli. My friends, have you been doing well? Oh, yes. We've been great. How Better you? now that you're I here. I didn't know you were such a busy consultant. My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Very nice for the the Lyra Adepti to all find employment among the mortal realm. As for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Aw. Well, that is true, but... <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. I know, Zhongli's like, all my friends are here in Liyue Harbor now. Or at least they're, they're increasing in number. One has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration. Human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. Hmm. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. <laughs> no need to get all sentimental on us. So true. Oh, thank you. 
You make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. <laughs> yeah. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Unless... Oh? What occasion was this? What? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Why does Cloud Retainer not remember this? Ha! Huh, hardly. T'was most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. Mm -hmm. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab roe tofu, triple layered consomme. We shall enjoy the lot. Oh my. One has already passed word to Shen Hun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Oh my god, is that agreeable to everyone? <laughs> it should be a most splendid occasion. Yes. Shu Yu, come now. It is time to dine. Time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is. Um... A humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Please to make your acquaintance. <laughs> a humble employee, yes. Definitely, nice that's exactly too, what he Zhongli. is. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Everyone here is just a humble employee. Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus' temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. You know, because it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. I want to taste the depth of temptation. Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? Hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, hey, wait up! True, when will they add more five-star food? Oh, that's it? I thought we were going to get the scene where they get to actually introduce to each other. Wait, maybe they're there. Maybe they're at one min restaurant. Are they there? Iron stomachs. Try something new at the restaurant. No. Are they here? Are they at a restaurant? Are they at any of the restaurants? Check the box near the house. My dear daughter, by the time you read this, mommy and daddy will already have left to go on a long journey. No! Your granny might get a little forgetful sometimes, so try to jot down little reminders for her around the house whenever you can. Mommy and daddy are counting on you to take care of granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why mommy and daddy have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something that they just have to do. Your mommy and daddy are no different. Okay, now, you know what? That sounds like a whole... That sounds like a whole story, saga, mystery on its own. Did you know Daddy was actually awfully sick as a child? How sick, you might ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel Daddy's pulse. It was that weak. But Daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times when Daddy thought he might not make it. In the end, Daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing if you think about it. Maybe daddy is just really lucky. Or who knows, maybe he has some super powerful adeptus looking out for him. Either way, daddy has always felt like he's received a lot of love from this world. And you know what? Daddy loves this world right back. They told daddy that this mission would be super dangerous, but both mommy and daddy decided to sign up. Oh. Well, I've grown quite a bit taller the next time mommy and daddy see you again. Maybe you'll be so big then that mommy and daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let's use a code. You'll still remember that one phrase daddy taught you when you were little? That can be our secret code the next time we see each other again. That way we'll recognize each other no matter what. You remember it, don't you? While the middleists stand guard, evil shall never prevail. Dude, where did where did her parents go? Where did what did they why did they leave? Where did they go? We'll, we'll go to... Okay, we'll check Mount Aotsang. 
Okay, uh, Demon Lancer, I see your uh, request. I'll get to it after we finish wrapping this up. <laughs> Hi, Defendra. <laughs> if your build is okay, all right. Well, I can also do that, um, especially as a channel member. Since you are a channel member. Give me a second. Let me just look for... Uh, let me just see if we can find Granny at Mount Outsung. This implies they were Millilith guards and they died during a mission. Hmm. I guess that's a pretty straightforward... I guess that's a pretty straightforward assumption. <laughs> Welcome chatters who just popped in. Hello, hello. Do we see a granny? Do we see a crane here? Do we see a crane here? Huh. Should be near the teleport. Near the sides. Elemental site? Is that going to show us something? Okay, I will try reaching the high point. Oh, better glider for Shen Yun? I'm not sure. I haven't <coughs> tried tried checking. It's still okay to start playing Genshin. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so if we go up, Cla Granny is not here. <laughs> so let's start from here and start looking. Granny, are you here? Granny, we miss you. Oh my gosh, it's a uh, beautiful binoculars in plain grass near the mountain so you think it's like below the mountain <coughs> she gonna be off the mountain <clears throat> anyway um artifacts recommend for Ningguang you can do two attack to geo you could also technically do the um, new Navia set if- Oh my god, there's an unclaimed chest there. Also do the new Navia set technically if you can make sure to proc the effect. <laughs> but you don't really need to do that. <clears throat> so honestly, I would just go to attack to Geo. Or you could do two attack, two attack also. Or four bolide. Or actually you have a lot of options, so I I my Ningguang guide still holds up. Um and I would recommend just focusing on the best set stats that you can get, like stats and pieces. Alright chat. I can't find uh granny, unfortunately. But it's okay. Granny will always be there in our hearts. <sighs> Change it to daytime. No, but like, honestly, even then, even though the Navia set exists, like... Hang on, let's just like... I'll, I'll, let's just look at the... Uh, the set bonus just so that I can tell it just, just so that it's clearer what I'm talking about artifact set where are my nighttime whispers okay look at this so the thing is um 
Yeah, you can use the Navi set. It gives you the attack percent. And then after using elemental skill, you get the geo damage bonus. Um, and then when you get, well, under a shield granted by crystallized reaction, the above effect will be increased. So it just gives you more geo damage bonus, basically like a total of 50% geo damage bonus. So you just have to be like consistent about proccing that, honestly in order to make sure you can get the full bonus. But if you're not that consistent with proccing it, then, or if you don't really want to be concerned about that, then you can honestly if just you are go for a two-piece, two-piece sets. Just prioritize stats. Or you can also go for other things like for bolide or, I don't know, you know. Um, yeah, there are like a lot of set combinations that you can check out in my Ningguang guide, like among older sets and stuff. <clears throat> what about four-piece wander? Um... On Ningguang, I mean, you do get the charged attack, but then, like, she... Oh my god, it's her! You do get the charged attack damage bonus, but Ningguang kind of uses... Is, like, all around... Like, she, she draws her damage all around, like, from her burst, from her charged and normal attacks. So, like, Geo damage bonus will just generally buff <laughs> all love her. Logo. It, was it will buff all her damage instead of just, like, her charge attack or just her burst. And so will attack. Yeah, it's 150% of 20%. Yeah, I know. It's weird phrasing. All right. Hello. Hello, Granny. A special looking crane. Wait, I love that. A special looking crane. How well her cultivation training is going. We found her! Alright, chat. Um, so I have some requests from over here at Twitch Redeem and then another request from a channel member. So, I'm gonna take a look at these very quickly before we pop, we, before we log off the stream. So Alhatham, why touch grass if you can touch Alhatham's abs? That's very based. That is very based. Wait. So huh? let's see what you have. 65, no. 209. Okay. Uh, ER. All right. You have some whatever. ER. And then 325 EM. All right. Low fi Gilded deep wood. All right. Uh -huh. So two crit damage rolls. Two, three, um, five. And eight. So this is an eight substat flower. It did roll into attack. Okay. Uh huh. And then we have 11, 14, 15. Ooh, 17. Ooh. Okay, I like this. 19, 21, 23. All right. 24, 27, 30. Ooh, 33 and 35 rolls. Okay, okay. I like how the I like that these pieces so far they barely have any dead stats like this. Okay, it rolled into HP once, but you are getting like a good amount of EM rolls, crit rolls, and even attack rolls and some ER rolls as well. So this is really nice. Um, two piece, two piece bonus. That's good. C zero, nine, ten, ten. Yeah, I mean thirty five subsets. That's that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. That is really good. 35 substats. So this is a case of two-piece, two-piece sets. Yeah, even if it's just a two-piece, two-piece set, you don't have to complete the four-piece bonus. Just, like, bring in pieces with really good substats. Very nice. All right. And then... Um, hang on. We have Dipendra. All right. Dipendra is here. Checking Baiju Yao Yao build. So quickly check Baiju build. All right. Uh huh. Good amount of ER. HP. Jade Fall Splendor. All right. For Deep Wood. ER. Uh, HP. HP. All right. That looks good. Uh huh. 588. Eight. Yeah, it looks all good here. And then for your Yao Yao build, you have healing bonus, ER. Whoa. 
Um, ER. <gasps> that looks good. So, healing bonus circlet, rightful reward. Okay, helps with the energy. Fortinasty. Okay. Yeah, everything about this looks good. Everything about this looks good. How do you calculate the number of rolls? Um,. <clears throat> so in summary, it's basically taking like the average amount of a roll, like for a crit rate, you would say the average amount of a crit rate roll is 3%, and then like dividing the total um, the total amount of that stat on the piece by the average roll. Like I have a video series on it, you can check it out. It's um, It has to do with artifacts, substats, um, some artifact optimization and such, and you can check that out. It's some of my older videos from last year, but they're still valid, and it's still a good way of evaluating your sets. By the way, um, when I was talking about the Ningguang sets, when I was talking about the Ningguang artifacts, I take back what I said about, like, uh, retracing Bolide. Like, it is an option, but ultimately, I would still recommend going to piece 2 piece bonuses better, because... It's just so more consistent bonuses as opposed to something like 4-piece Bolide that, yeah, it only buffs normal and charge attack damage. And if you are using Ningguang on field, then that is like a good bonus, especially if you can get the shield. But if you can get 2-piece, two 2-piece two bonuses of like attack percent and then Geo damage bonus and then just get really good substats on those pieces, like I think you're all set because they're just more consistent bonuses and you don't really have to rely on any conditions for things like that. Now Petra is in the strong box. That is true. You can go for Petra if you, um, if you're set on using it to buff Ningguang's teammates. That is another, uh, that is another possibility. Like if you're playing Ningguang with like, um, on a pyro team with like Shangling, and you want to use the Petra to buff Shangling, or if you're playing Ningguang with like double Hydro, and you want to use the Petra to buff like your Yelan and your Singcho or your Yelan and your Farina, that is very possible as well. So, there are like, yeah, you have several options and it can definitely be case to case, but for general use as a Ningguang DPS build, um, 2 piece 2 piece is still like the easiest route to go. Petra? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like 2 piece 2 piece Petra, 2 piece Petra, 2 piece attack. Yeah, 2 piece attack, 2 piece geo damage bonus. Yeah, exactly. All right, chat. So, um, thank you, Deependra, for uh, letting us take a look at your Baiju and Yao Yao, and also for that um, for that character review request over here on Twitch. Now, chat. I know that we kind of like deviated from from the Xianyun quest, like. Um, we finished the Shanyan quest and then started getting distracted by other stuff, which is all fine and good. Like, that is totally what our streams here are for. But I just want to say that I was really... I didn't expect the quest to be that heartwarming. If you know it. I, I, I don't know. Like, I know that Shanyun is obviously very motherly, but I, just, I didn't realize that that's how motherly she would be just because... You know, she likes to play it off a little bit sometimes, and we've never spent, or we don't usually spend that much time with her. And it's always just like a passing thing whenever we see her, so it was really nice meeting her. And then, and then she just like puts all her motherhood on display. It's so beautiful, I loved it. And like, it's so, you know, you know, like Asian moms. As a, as a person with an Asian mom who lives in an Asian society with a lot of Asian type moms, like they can be difficult, okay? And I'm sure Cloud Retainer can be difficult herself, but it was just really nice having a, a very positive depiction of a of a mom in like a in an Asian culture. Um, no make music today, no make music today. I also can't really make music on YouTube because it, it can get copyright claimed. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so anyway. 
as an Asian mom. No, 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 no. As someone with an Asian mom. <laughs> as someone who was Asian with a mom who lived with, who um, just recently moved out from living with her mom, I guess. But yeah, I, I get it. And I just really appreciated like such a heartwarming and positive depiction of, of a mom like that. We need more. <laughs> We need more of that. So the next time I stream on YouTube, it will probably be for the Lantern Rite quest. It'll probably be for the Lantern Rite quest chat. So you can hope that we can get around to that this weekend. I need to edit some videos and I need to edit the upcoming Sevi Talks episode. But uh, you can definitely count on the next YouTube stream being the Lantern Rite quest. And I will dual stream it also on Twitch. So thank you for sticking around on both the Twitch stream and the YouTube stream. Thank you, mods, for keeping us together here. You, the Twitch VOD will be up, of course, and the YouTube VOD will also be up on my channel. So whichever is more convenient for you to watch back or if you missed something or if, you know, or if you want to check it out or if you didn't catch the stream live, that's always there. So thank you everyone for being here. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your day slash night slash, slash afternoon slash evening. Thank you mods again. Thank you chat for being here. And I will see you all very soon. Okay. Mwah. See you chat. I do not have an ending screen for my YouTube channel. I am so sorry.